Today's lesson is all about learning a basic version of what I call the Boogaloo Groove. It was a Latin and soul-inspired funky rhythm played by jazz and rhythm and blues drummers in the 1960s and 70s and still appears regularly in various formats within pop, rock, jazz, blues, R&B, funk and even metal. Even some electronic drum and bass and jungle genres use these infectious beats. Let's start by playing a bar of rhythm on the snare. The rhythm here includes the 16th note partial, one and a. You'll remember that as sounding like grasshopper from previous studies. Exercise one. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to play that rhythm with my lead hand on the hi-hat and my non-lead hand on the snare. I'm going to play it in such a way that my lead hand plays continuous eighth notes on the hi-hat and my non-lead hand will play the backbeats two and four and also play a little skip note on the A ah of two. This skip note will fall right between two hi-hat beats so be careful not to play your hands together at that point. Exercise 2 One, two, three, four. Play this exercise many times and be sure to keep your hands totally synchronized. Only then will we add the bass drum. Exercise three. One, two, three, four. Now let's have another go at that exercise with a slight variation. Exercise four. One, two, three, four. Let's now play a different rhythm on the snare drum. This rhythm includes another 16th note partial, one and. Hopefully you'll remember this as sounding like butterfly from the previous studies. Exercise five. One, two, three, four. As before, we'll now incorporate that rhythm on the hi-hat and snare drum. Don't forget your lead hand will be playing just straight eighth notes and your non-lead hand will be slotting in the other notes, in this case on beats two, four and the E of three. Exercise six. One, two, three, four. We can add the bass drum when you're comfortable playing the hi-hat and snare parts. Be careful when you play this next exercise to make sure all the parts of 3E e and are totally synchronized. It's quite common to stumble through this part of the beat, 
so be certain to line up the bass drum and hi-hat together well and play the snare exactly in between. Exercise 7 One, two, three, four. Here's a variation of the previous exercise. Exercise 8 1, 2, 3, 4 OK, the real art of the Boogaloo beat lies in the combination of the two basic rhythms we've studied so far. So it seems natural that we join them together to produce a nice funky beat. First of all, here's the basic beat played on the snare drum. Exercise 9 1, 2, 3, 4 Now here's the same exercise as a hi-hat and snare pattern. Exercise 10 1, 2, 3, 4 Now let's add the bass drum to finish the beat off. Exercise 11 1, 2, 3, 4 These rhythms can be repeated or phrases swapped around quite a bit to make new beats. For example, here's a two bar pattern displaced. Three, four. Or release the hi hat slightly for a more rock type sound. Three, four. Or use the ride symbol and the toms. Three, four. Or make the toms the starting point for your boogaloo groove. Three, four. Good luck and bye for now.